This video demonstrates the utilization of an accessory intermeter portal to facilitate repair of mid-body radial tears of the lateral meniscus in children and adolescents. Once the tear is identified and diagnostic arthroscopy is completed through standard anterior medial and anterolateral portals, the accessory intermedial portal is established just medial to the anterior portal. The leg is brought into a figure four position for access into the lateral compartment of the knee, where the tear is debrided to create confluent edges to facilitate edge-to-edge -edge repair and enhance healing. The tear is assessed for feasibility of successful repair, which can be done with a probe or blunted instrument. It is important to note that you should be able to identify your popliteus tendon to ensure that it will be out of the trajectory of your sutures. Now with the arthroscope in the accessory intermedial portal, the portal skid is placed into the anteromedial portal to protect the cartilage. This is then followed by the zone specific cannula. The desired trajectory is determined and the 2O mini suture tape meniscus repair needle is passed through the zone specific cannula and into the meniscus and subsequently outside of the knee. The other end of the repair needle is passed on the contralateral side of the meniscus to create a single horizontal mattress stitch. The slack is then taken out of the suture, which should confirm the likelihood of a successful repair. A second 2O mini suture tape meniscus repair needle is then introduced through the zone specific cannula in the anteromedial portal and a second horizontal mattress is completed in the identical manner to that previously described. A third 2O mini suture tape meniscus repair needle is introduced through the zone specific cannula. In this instance, an oblique type mattress stitch was created by crossing the tear in an oblique fashion on the second pass of the 2O suture. Customarily, at least three sutures are placed. However, the number of sutures and orientation are determined by doing what is required to achieve a successful reduction. After all sutures are passed, they will be located along the lateral knee, where soft tissue dissection is carried down through skin and subcutaneous tissue along the trajectory of the sutures to the capsule, where they are tied. It is important to note that all slack must be taken out of each suture prior to tying, and the maintenance of reduction should be checked arthroscopically prior to tying each suture sequentially. This is the final repair, which consists of two horizontal mattresses and an oblique-type mattress. The case is then completed with the injection of platelet-rich plasma.